But thanks to a bulletproof vest, an officer is okay and with his family tonight. It was a close call this afternoon in Fairhill. A SWAT team was serving a drug-related search warrant when police say a suspect opened fire, striking an officer in the chest. Now the question turns to what city leaders will do to get illegal guns off the streets. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is live. She has more on how local lawmakers want to make the city safer. Jasmine. Yuki Jess, good evening. Lawmakers I spoke with say Pennsylvania has some of the worst gun laws in the nation. They say this incident reiterates the need for change. From the Fraternal Order of Police. It's time for the leadership here to get their head out of their ass and start doing their job. To the police commissioner. Easier to get a gun than it is to get a driver's license here. To Mayor Jim Kenney, the calls for change rang through the ranks as officials called out the need for gun reform. The legislature, me members of the legislature who claim they support police could really support police by getting more of these guns off the street. This comes hours after a gunman shot a Philadelphia SWAT officer who was serving a warrant in Fairhill Friday afternoon. The bullet pierced his bulletproof vest inside of this row home on Lehigh and 2nd Street. The officer survived. When everything happened, they closed everything. They scare every everybody scared. Officials say the unidentified gunman was wanted on a narcotics warrant and was previously convicted. How he was able to get a gun so quickly, a question they're asking lawmakers. It's up to all of us. It's up to all of us. Senator Vincent Hughes says legislation such as background checks for gun purchases as a start, but currently the state has six billion dollars in funding that needs to be spent to turn these neighborhoods around to make to make them uh, breathe some life and hope and opportunities in these neighborhoods to support and make sure that everyone in the law enforcement community has the up-to-date technology. Representative Dwight Evans agrees with using funding to fix the problem. He is co-leading a bill that would give one billion in federal money to help police solve cases. This is not a partisan issue. So we need to collectively use all our forces to send a message that this violence is unacceptable. Again, that officer was released, is expected to be okay. The suspect was taken into custody. A weapon was recovered. Charges are still unknown. We're live at the Roundhouse. Jasmine, pay you TBS3 Eyewitness News. Jasmine, thank you. And we're